on guys? Today I'm fishing out here on Burke Lake with my buddy Will. We are on musky hunt number two. I just wanted to thank all of you guys for commenting on the last musky video I did. I've learned a ridiculous amount from all of you. I know that I need to start doing some of the figure eights. Um, and then just more on tackle and then where am I looking over here? Yeah, and musky tactics. So thank you all for all the help. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the day out here. Well, almost 12 o'clock, so we got like six hours. Hopefully we'll run into one. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna be starting the day off throwing this Shane's Bait's fifth element. So this is an Alabama rig. Um, it's got five of the willow leaf blades on here, and then obviously five wires to five different baits. I'm throwing the four inch swing impact Kitex on the outside, and then I have a 4.8 inch, the fat swing impact on the back. Let's go. Okay, first cast, not a backlash, that's good. I gotta work on my figure eight skills here. Hope that looks okay, guys. Hope you can deal with it. Oh, that's yummy. All right, so the first impression of this fifth element from Shane's Baits is pretty good. It's actually a pretty light umbrella rig. It's significantly lighter than the Yum Flash Mob Jr. setup that I generally throw. Um, I have 16th ounce jig heads on the outside and on the bottom as well. Um, and the bait itself weighs a half an ounce. It's a pretty good looking bait. Comes through the water real nice. Feels pretty light, basically like throwing a spinner bait on a normal like seven foot medium heavy because I'm throwing it on the seven six extra heavy. But I mean, very manageable. It's an awesome bait. Come on, Muskie, where you at? That'd be so ridiculous <laughs> if I got smashed doing that. <laughs> yeah, right, hopefully he just grabs hook. Figure eight, figure eight. All nice and deep like. <laughs> Bottom probably. I got nipped by a crappie or something over there. Okay. But I'm throwing a half ounce. Got him. Shake. Got him? Yep. Oh. It does feel good. I hope it's a musky, dude. I'm on a musky hunt today. Oh my. Oh, what the? Oh, it's a big bass, dude. I'll take him. <laughs> it's a little. Three and a half pounder. Take it. Ooh, on your unit. Huh? I'm just, I'm just tired of First fish of the day. Coming on that Shane's Baits. Fifth element. It's a nice little three pounder. I'm gonna get a quick weight on him. Throw him back. Guess. Three, six, one. Nice. 3.61 pounds. I'll take it. Boom. 3.6 pounder coming off this point here. A little bit of wind. Sun started poking out. Shane's Bates Alabama rig coming through. See ya later. Whoa. <laughs> he was just a little confused. <laughs> Will's still looking for his first bass of the year. I feel like I'm fishing with Mike again. You're gonna have to catch him. Get some top water going, dude. Figure eight, figure eight. All right, got the Savage Gear jerk bait. Goal number one is gonna be not to break this off on the second cast, like last week. <laughs> so this thing sinks about a foot a second, if I recall correctly. Yeah, about a foot a second. I'm just gonna experiment with how long I'm gonna let it sink and then reel it in, rip it on the way back. <laughs> wind kind of just died down a little bit. I think this jerk bait will be good for a big old musky. This is where you caught your baby, right? Over here. Right here, right here on this point. PB point. PB point? Yep. Haven't caught another fish off of it since. <laughs> figure eight, figure eight. Don't forget your figure eight. Oh, that's more of a circle. <laughs> So we just marked a bunch of fish hugging the bottom in 28 feet of water. So threw the marker buoy out 
we're going to kind of make a big circle around that spot and try to catch any of those fish that are on the bottom. See what happens. I'm going for my first muskie. Will's going for his first muskie and his first bass of the year. We need some good juju. The fish gods, they've answered. They've answered. We caught that. We got a bass. We got a bass in the boat. It's important. I like you, but I need you to catch me a muskie. You know, you'll be able to. Oh, got him. Feels like a small one, whatever it is. It's a walleye. Is it? Oh, it is. A big one. Big walleye. Woo! Oh, <laughs> it's my third walleye I've ever caught. Got him on the Alabama rig. Uh, there's a bunch of fish stacked up there on that marker buoy that we just went over, and I guess it's a bunch of walleye. So maybe we'll catch a couple more. Good looking fish, though. Will was just telling me that these fish are usually stacked up on the end of this point. We marked some, as you can see, the marker buoy up that way. We circled around it once, no bites, and then on that second go around, caught that nice walleye. We're gonna see if we can catch his cousin, Mr. Ski. Mr. Ski. Or Mr. Will's Ski. First bass. Or Will's first bass. <laughs> Either one is fine with me. I'd like to see you catch your first bass of the year. Will brought me this. Biwa swim bait, so it's about an ounce and a half. It's got a spinner or willow leaf blade here on the back, which is pretty cool. The action's pretty straightforward. I mean, it just swims right at the boat and it looks really clean. Looks really clean. That's the willow leaf on the back just gives it a nice little flash. Subtle. Yeah, it's a subtle, I mean, it's not a lot of action to it. It's just straight swim. Pretty awesome. Hopefully we can get our first muskie on this crazy looking thing. The Biwa swim bait's going down for a bit. Gonna try the jerk bait. So we fished all the way up from the island and all of the down lake points. Right now we're mid lake here at Burke Lake. I'm still throwing the Alabama rig around. I have the swim bait that Will brought me and I'm also throwing the Savage Gear jerk bait. I've had no bites from a muskie yet. Will's still looking for his first fish of the year. Fishing the drop. <laughs> that was my goal is to not do that today. <laughs> I done it. I got one. I got one. Yeah. Oh, it's a bass. It's a good bass though. Oh, it's a good bass. On the giant Savage Gear jerk bait. <laughs> it's the same one. It looks exactly the same. My drag slipped like terribly. I got it. Got this one on the giant Savage Gear jerk bait. This thing's a sinking jerk bait. Just dragging it along the bottom. You get a quick weight on this fish. Came right off the point where I caught my PB too. And I thought it was a muskie. I had no idea. I mean, when it hit this jerk bait, I was just immediately thinking muskie. Wishful thinking, for sure. 405. Boom, on the connect scale. It don't lie. Not bad, not a bad fish. She's cool. So the wind has picked up significantly out here. We got a bunch of cloud coverage, no more sun. Hoping that the wind might turn these fish on a little bit. Yeah. Need a ski, we need a ski. So we're closing in on the last uh, 20 or 30 minutes out here. We're gonna fish a couple of these main lake points. Hopefully run into the ski we've been looking for all day. Musky trip number two. Can't call it a success, but can't call it a failure either. We caught some bass and a walleye, which is pretty cool. I don't catch too many walleye, so that's always exciting. I got to test out some of the Shane's Baits umbrella rigs. They're all freaking awesome. I'm gonna go over some more of those in the next few videos this week. But the one that I was throwing today was the Fifth Element, and it's probably my new favorite umbrella rig. It's really light compared to the Yum Flash Mob Jr. that I've been throwing. Uh, the castability is just ridiculous. It's super comfortable, I don't get tired throwing it all day. But yeah, we'll go over some more of that later this week. Thanks for coming out with me, Will. Much appreciated, dude. It's always yeah. fun fishing with you. I'm gonna get you out of here again soon. We're gonna get you on your first bass of the year. I think I'm gonna be getting out here on Tuesday. We're gonna go on another musky hunt, so stay tuned for that. Till then, see you soon, guys.